As I said, the bike which I have today is the R15 V3 2019 edition, which gets dual channel ABS. Now let's talk about the engine specification first. The engine is powered by 155 cc four-stroke four-valve fuel-injected liquid-cooled DOHC setup, which produces 19.3 PS of power at 10,000 RPM and 15 Newton meter of torque at 8,500 RPM. But unlike other 150 cc bikes, it comes with VVA, which is also known as variable valve actuation. So this technology is used in car as VVT. So basically, VVA allows different valve timing in different arc bands. In lower RPM, it allows standard air intake timing, which is enough for low cycle of combustion. But in high RPM, it allows extended air entrance time in the cylinder, hence entering more air with comparatively more fuel. Thus, it helps to produce more power in high RPM condition. The engine is mated to a six-speed gearbox, and it does get a slipper clutch assist. The engine is housed inside a delta box frame and has very good stiffness, stability, and is very agile. You do get a clip-on handle bar. Now let's move on to the instrument cluster. The instrument cluster houses a fully digital instrument console where you get readouts like tachometer, speedometer, gear position indicator, gear shift indicator, clock, fuel level indicator, two trip meters. You do get a VVI signal when the engine RPM rises more than 7,400 RPM. Now let's talk about the headlight and colors. You do get a dual LED at the front along with AOH. The bike looks gorgeous with the matte black paint scheme along with the style graphic takes it up to the next level. The tail section is pretty much good with the three layers LED setup which makes it look like a sporty machine. The riding posture is sporty and you have to lean forward. The cam pack capacity is 11 liters and you can expect a good range of about 400 to 440 kilometers in full tank depending upon the way you ride. Talking about the suspension and the braking duties, you do get a telescopic suspension at the front and a monoshock at the rear. The braking setup consists of 282 mm disc at the front and 220 mm disc at the rear with dual channel ABS. You do get 100 by 80 section tire at the front and 140 section tire at the rear. Both the wheels are of 17 inches. So if you are one of those guys who is a beginner and want to ride a proper sports bike, then R15 is the best choice for you. It is a bummer in city condition due to its committed seating position, but it's a It's a pleasure while riding on highway as well as track days. Its competitor are Jixxer 150 SF with 1.81 lakhs on road price Bangalore. This bike makes a great deal for person who is looking for a great track machine. Thank you for making me a part of your day. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel Vlog with Tarun. Until then, bye.